my name is David Montesano, and we're going to be discussing improving your transfer admission outlook, getting off the wait list today. And already we've got a couple questions, so we might want to delve into these just to kind of um, look at those right away here uh, before we get started. So let's see, we've got a question that says, are my high school transcripts necessary to transfer over with a completed associate of arts degree or an AA degree? Um, it really, the answer to that question is it really depends on the college um, and what they want to see. If they want to see your high school uh, transcripts, maybe the last couple years of those or the full thing, then, then they can definitely request that. Um, in general, it just, it's really hard to say actually. Um, it really depends on the college or the university, but that's a good question to kind of look and see um, on the college's information when they ask for transfer transfers, they give a checklist of things that transfers have to provide. You might want to look and see if that's on there, okay? Any other questions? Um, in the meantime, we're going to get started. Uh, improving your transfer admission outlook, getting off the wait list. My, again, my name is David Montesano. I'm an admission strategist with College Match, and I've got a company called Unifluence. And uh, yeah, you're welcome to ask any questions here that you might have about transfer admission. Here's some interesting information about transfer admission. It's, the reason I say it's interesting is that transferring is a lot like entering a crowded nightclub. Two people have to leave before two more can enter. And this data is really interesting because it kind of shows just some sample transfer acceptance rates. These are a little bit on the, you know, not, not completely the newest, latest ones, but just kind of gives you an idea. Um, you know, from, from UC Berkeley, which has a 23% transfer acceptance rate, um, to, you know, some of these schools that, you know, like, for example, Michigan had a 41% acceptance rate, 40, 40 for University of Virginia. Um, they're just kind of interesting to look at. Like, I think one of the more interesting ones for me here is the University of San Diego, sorry, University of California, San Diego, admit rate of 56%. And that's, you know, an admit rate that is actually higher for transfers. The acceptance rate's higher for transfers than, say, for admitted freshmen, which is closer to 30, in the, the high 30s right now So at, at UC San Diego. So it's kind of interesting. Sometimes um, the rates can be higher, uh, but often they're lower, and, and, and they can be much lower. And the reason for that is um, because they're just – aren't any students that are leaving. So the, the number of freshmen that are returning, that, that percentage is really high, and that can, that can cause uh, fewer spaces for transfers. And the other thing that can cause fewer spaces is, is ev everyone graduates on time and there's no attrition later, you know, meaning that none, none of the, the, the sophomores, juniors, and seniors, uh, sophomores and juniors primarily, but, or seniors as well, um, you know, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't go anywhere. They, they, they continue and graduate. So one of the things that you can look for, uh, you know, and U.S. News gathers this information, is schools, um, you know, that have decent transfer rates. That's something that you really want to get a hold of because what you're going to find is a lot of colleges that are the more selective ones may not have that many um, options for you as, as far as transferring goes. And these are just a few, though, of the selective colleges that do. So I wanted to point that out. Um, let's see, we've got another question here from Renee. Um, it says, let's see, will you be discussing transferring from one four-year college to another? Absolutely, yeah. So um, there is a difference between two-year to four-year school and four-year to four-year school. One is that there's really not, um, you have a better argument if you're coming from a two-year school, if you think about it. A, you're more at risk for not finishing ever. Just the data show that. So if you're at a community college, believe it or not, colleges uh, that are four-year schools look upon that quite favorably, and they want to help you out because they can see you don't have anywhere else to go. So you really need to be able to finish out the your, you know the next two years somewhere, and and you you've maxed out your two-year school. You have to go to a four-year school. So um, four-year colleges look at that, um, and they give priority, I believe, in some ways to two-year college students, especially a lot of the flagship state universities, places like University of California or Michigan, um, you know, in every state you've got a flagship, basically. Um, Washington is an example, Illinois, University of Texas at Austin, that kind of thing. So, uh, but private schools can be a little bit different. Um, they can sometimes uh, not always give priority and sometimes give, in fact, priority to four, other four-year schools 
uh, that they happen to think highly of. So just want to let you know that, okay? But in general, two-year schools do have priority. Um, but four-year to four-year, we'll be talking about that. Maybe you can be more specific in your question, Renee, if you have anything else that you wanted to really know. Um, maybe the differences between the two and four year. Um, I hope I've talked about that here already, but if there's something else that I haven't addressed, please let me know. Okay, so look like it. Any other questions? I'll give, I'll give somebody one more chance here if there are any others, um, kind of last minute ones. It doesn't look like You've been a great audience, and I wanted to say thank you so much for your time, and um, best of luck to you in transfer. I know you can, you can get off that wait list, so just focus on some of the principles we talked about today, and you'll be very successful. Take care. Thanks.